How do you introduce an argumentative essay? In this lesson, you will learn how to introduce an argumentative essay by summarizing the text and linking it to your claim and reasons. Our text-based question asks us, why did Edna St. Vincent Millay choose to use the sonnet form to convey the theme of social subversion? After reading Sonnet 7, write an argumentative essay that addresses the question and support your position with evidence from the text. Be sure to acknowledge competing views fairly and thoroughly. The process of creating a high-quality argumentative essay has five steps. The first step is close reading and analysis. The second step is the assignment stage. The third step is generate and plan. The fourth step is draft and revise. And our fifth and final step is edit and publish. Today we will continue the draft and revise stage of the essay development process by developing our introduction. In this lesson, we are focusing on developing our introduction. In order to do this, follow four steps. First, reread your draft essay and ask yourself, how can I get my reader curious about what I have to say? Then, write a thought-provoking beginning that explains why the topic is important. Third, briefly summarize the text. And finally, add your claim and reasons. The first step in creating a high-quality and engaging introduction to your essay is to reread your draft essay and ask yourself, how can I get my reader curious about what I have to say? Though we don't have time in this lesson to reread the entire essay for us, I would encourage you to do so on your own before trying to write an introduction. Getting the reader's attention is critical. If the beginning of your essay is boring and unoriginal, then no one will want to read it. Catch your reader's attention by giving an interesting statistic, asking a personal question, using a quote, or telling a short personal story. Now that we have considered different ways to catch readers' attention, let's write a thought-provoking beginning that explains why the topic is important. In 1923, women's rights activists attempted to pass the Equal Rights Act, which would ensure equality among men and women. Though it had been introduced in every congressional session since, it has still never been ratified. How then were women to fight against sexist culture and tradition? Edna St. Vincent Millay, American author and Pulitzer Prize winner, staged her own subtle revolt with, with Sonnet 7, written in 1922. This is thought-provoking and captures the reader's attention because it connects Malay to modern day and points out an issue that has still not been resolved. It also points out a problem to which Sonnet 7 is Malay's attempt at a solution. Now we need to briefly summarize the text and the sonnet form. Edna St. Vincent Malay chose to use the sonnet form to convey the theme of social subversion for a variety of reasons. The sonnet is a very traditional form of poetry and has many technical aspects. Traditional sonnets have 14 lines, and e English or Shakespearean sonnets have three quatrains of four lines each and one couplet at the end. Sonnets are also traditionally masculine, for its writers were almost entirely male. Sonnet 7 is written from the point of view of a woman who is discontent with her traditional role in a relationship. Finally, we need to add our claim and reasons. Millay met the technical requirements of a sonnet while deviating in many ways from what might be expected. Millay's deviation from conventional form mirrors the speaker's deviation from conventional behavior. Both Millay and the speaker obeyed tradition to a point, then expressed their individuality by acting in a way that was unexpected. As you can see here, we've outlined our reasons and our claim. Let's take a look at what we have accomplished so far. We created an outline with evidence and transitions, three body paragraphs with transitions, a thorough counter argument paragraph, and an engaging introduction. We're almost done. Now we only have to write a conclusion and edit our essay. Today, we continued working on the draft and revise stage of the process by developing our introduction. So when you are trying to develop an engaging introduction for an argumentative essay, follow these four steps. Reread your draft essay and ask yourself, how can I get my reader curious about what I have to say? Two, 
write a thought-provoking beginning that explains why the topic is important. Three, briefly summarize the text. And four, add your claim and reasons. In this lesson, you have learned how to introduce an argumentative essay by summarizing the text and linking it to your claim and reasons.